Okay, so we're walking around the show the first day that we get here. I walk up to this guy, he's in his suit, you know, I kind of figure that he's somewhat important, but we're not too sure exactly what the deal is. I ask him if we can have a demo of this new product that is sitting there. It's absolutely awesome. He looks around, kind of looks for someone to give me a demo, couldn't find anybody. So this gentleman gave me a demo all by himself. And this is the man right here, John Eric Pritchard, the inventor and CEO of, is it called Cube? Yes, Cube. Cube. Cube is absolutely the most amazing thing I have ever seen. Everybody needs this. These guys were just voted PC Week Best of Show. Uh, I can't believe it. Chris, you've heard me talk about the portability issue of computers, and I hate my laptop, and I hate the keyboard, and I hate all these things. This fixes all of that. This is the next platform. Forget everything else that's out there. This is it. John, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Sure, absolutely. Cube is the world's first personal computing tablet. So that means to us that it's a full-blown computer. It's not some CE device or something like that. Um, it's a Pentium computer with uh, with uh, running Windows and Windows NT. Here you can see we have a we have a touch screen uh, 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 situation so that uh, you can do touch navigation or you can do handwriting recognition or we even have a soft keyboard uh, on board there. Um, we also have voice recognition, so you can uh, dictate letters or uh, take notes via voice or even do voice, voice navigation. Up here we have a uh, CCD color camera that uh, allows you to do video conferencing or, uh, or uh, um, still capture picture or little video clips that you might send to grandma or whatever. Uh, we have two PCMCIA slots, uh, two Type 2s and one Type 3. Um, then also over here we have a device bay that uh, allows you to run uh, CD-ROM or a rewritable CD-ROM or, uh, or DVD drive. And those are hot swappable, so you, can, you don't have to power down, you just put the device right in. Also uh, over here we have a, a smart card and an MSR card reader. So you can do secure online transactions or you can uh, uh, do all those kinds of things that uh, like distance learning and so forth like that so that uh, when you put your smart card in, everybody knows or the system knows who and what you are, very secure. And tell me, why why this? Why did it come down to designing a, a tablet-based computer for you? Why did you do this this way? Well, I don't come from, I'm not an engineer. I don't come from an engineering background. I uh, My background is basically, uh, was in publishing and in, uh, in, in marketing, mm -hmm. um, advertising essentially. And uh, I wanted to look for some way to uh, to recreate the experience uh, that's so tactile and using newspapers and magazines. When you read those, when you access that kind of information, it's just you can carry it around and so forth. Uh, also, when you write, you just naturally write, you write on a tablet, whatever. Um, I wanted to recreate that experience as well. So it started evolving. I, I put together one little machine that did some of these things, and then I started putting other technologies on. Pretty soon it became a completely integrated device and, and essentially is a, a brand new platform in computing. Now, I've seen a couple of the demos out here are, uh, are really cool because they have these little antennas sticking out. So I'm imagining that you guys are building in some wireless connectivity to this right, as well. Right. Certainly it's uh, configured very well for wireless LAN situations right. and the wireless WAN. As the infrastructure builds out uh, nationwide uh, at higher bandwidths, uh, obviously it, uh, it can support those as well. So tell me a little bit about the company. I mean, you guys have had an awesome show here, but this is your premiere. This is the first time you guys this have been is, out. This is us launching the product, uh, certainly, and uh, the company itself, we've, we've actually been around a little while. We've been in development for five years now. Um, we started a little bit, uh, you know, in my garage. I started in my garage, it was one of those kind of things. Yeah. And then we got a one-room office, then a two-room office, and then pretty soon, you know, we're thousands and thousands of square feet. Um, basically, uh, we've, we've we decided instead of as a company to, to instead of just putting together a machine and then letting other people handle the marketing or whatever else, we, we set up our own marketing uh, team. We set up our own funding, for example, right. and um, we set up our own productization and we have our own R&D, etc. Well, I mean, the, the thing that's obvious to me is that this is such a unique product and something that is going to take so much control. Another company isn't going to be able to realize uh, exactly how this product can be brought to market. It's going to take the innovators and the idea people from inside the company to, uh, to be developing this. This is a complete 
completely new platform. They're going to be entire. This is my prediction, okay? I'm going to make a prediction to the listening audience, to the, all the Lock and Home subscribers. This is a new industry created right here by this gentleman. A completely new industry. You're going to see little village communities building around this product. You're going to see village industries building around this product. Uh, definitely a winner. Absolutely a winner. We've got a couple more things to take a look at, but uh, time is getting you know fairly thin. Thank you very much, John. John, it's a pleasure. And John as well. Thank you, Thank you very much, guys. Uh, congratulations. Excellent.